Stop saying that you are an atheist and respect Christianity. Because in Psalm 14, 1, it says, Only fools say in their hearts, There is no God. They are corrupt and their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. You do not respect Christianity truly, deeply in your heart. The only reason you're saying that is because you want to seem like a good person to other people, but you're really not. Unless you have repented of your sins and gave your life to Jesus Christ, no one on this earth respects Christianity. Because if you are not enemy against this world, and the world wants you to become atheist and go to hell, then you are enemy of God. And I, I encourage you to not be an enemy of God. Because that's like inviting an atheist to a Bible study and him not having a Bible with him. And he and the whole time he ain't going to read a Bible. What sense does that make? What good is it that a man gains the world but loses soul? All the other guys are dead. I mean, dead. Buddha, dead. All of them dead. You know who came back three days later? Jesus. You know who's going to deny that at Judgment Day? No one. Because everyone's going to know he's existing then. You're one of those people that be all like... All right, so what am I going to do if, like, for example, God ain't real? Well, what are the Christians going to do? We're going to be okay because Christianity is not some judgmental religion. There's a lot of people that judges people, but that's only because they're not true followers of Christ. They're going to look at someone with tattoos and piercings and stuff and be like, oh, he's straight up for the devil. Oh, he's demonic. Oh, look at that demon over there. That's not how you judge people. And next thing you know, on Judgment Day, Jesus tells you that man was a preacher. It teaches you to respect your wife, respect your parents, stuff like that. And in this world, right is wrong and wrong is right. I don't understand it. Christianity has good values of life. It teaches you good manners.